Listen, man. Uh, I think the more and more I think about this situation with Javante Tank Davis and Shakur Stevens, I don't buy the PBC gag order shit. I don't buy the whole if you in negotiations with um, Javante Tank Davis that they make you be quiet. Because the more and more I think about the fighters that have been in negotiations with Tank, Brian wasn't quiet at all while they was in negotiations. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video. Turn on your notifications. Catch me live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 730. Um, I'm also live every Sunday morning with the Sangin' OG KQKC Boxing Network. Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And I ask that you join the channel as a member. Drop super chats and super thanks when you come by the live streams. And the videos that we're doing, hit me up if you want to debate. My email address is knockoutbox 86 yahoocom let's, let's talk about this shit, though. So I'm not buying this whole Shakur Stevenson can't talk shit. He can't let us know whether or not they negotiate. And if they not negotiate, he should be full court pressing for them to give for them to negotiate. And so I can't help but wonder, bro, do these dudes really want to fight Javante Tank Davis? Because Tank could end up being the most duck fighter in 2024, bro. He could win the duck, the, the most duck of the year award. Because if you get Loma and Shakur to duck you, bro. You, do, you, you win that award, bro. But I've had people come by the channel and tell me, oh, knockout, if they negotiating, Shakur can't really say nothing. Why not? Ryan Garcia and Oscar De La Hoya was saying shit. Bob Abram said a lot of shit. A lot of shit. When Caleb Plant and Canelo was negotiating, Caleb Plant said a whole bunch of shit. He went off on all the shit they offered Canelo. So, Shakur Stevenson's cryptic shit, the more and more I think about it, bro, and having his team talk for him, and he ain't really speaking on the situation other than giving a bunch of mumbo-jumbo shit you got to try to read in between the lines with. I can't help but wonder, bro, why you, why you change? Why your energy change, bro? Because I'm putting myself in his mind, right? If I'm him and my team is negotiating, then I'm, yeah, bro. Tank, let's get this shit done. Can't wait. I'm talking my shit, bro. Just like Ryan was talking his shit. Talking my shit, bro. And then if Tank team ain't reaching out to me at all, and they ducking me, oh, nigga, I'm on their helmet. If you really want the fight. Oh, now I got what Tank got to do this. Tank got to say something. Got Tank don't never say shit. The one thing Tank said about Loma was when he was leading up to the Frank Martin fight, and he said, he next. I got to get through Frank first. And then deleted that shit. And then after that, he ain't said shit. He ain't said shit about nobody in negotiations at all. He'll respond to a motherfucker if a motherfucker get to talk shit to him. But he be out of pocket for the most part. He don't be using social media like these other motherfuckers do because he don't have to. And I keep going back through Shakur Stevenson's words and shit. And he telling on himself a little bit to me, bro. Because he said social media is fake. It's not the real world. But you use social media to call out Tank in that video. So was the call out fake? Was social media fake then or did you really want the fight then? Was it fake, bro? My dreams are near. My time is coming out. What, what that shit mean, bro? 
What, you a motivational speaker now? My arms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy, there's vomit on this sweater already. Do not miss your chance to blow this opportunity comes one, bro. What you doing, bro? What's going on, bro? You get ready to duck, bro. See, and this is why you pay attention to everything in boxing and you watch people behavior, bro. When they ordered Shakur Stevenson versus Pitbull, and Pitbull didn't want to negotiate. Shakur Stevenson was at his fucking front door. Nigga, you, boy, you couldn't get him to shut up. When Oscar De La Hoya saying this bullshit or not wanting to negotiate the Williams and Pater fight, oh, you pussy, you this, you that. Get on IG with Ryan Garcia, nigga, call Oscar. Call him right now. Did that fat motherfucker call Oscar? Lomachenko, same thing, bro. Unless, again, social media fake and none of them call-outs was real, bro. I'm just, I, I, look, he said this shit. I didn't make him say it, so I'm just trying to bring this shit to y'all and y'all let me know what the fuck y'all think, bro. So when you behave like that in every other instance, And now when Tank Davis gets free, you ain't called him out not one time. The whole world knows that Loma pulled out and you ain't said shit. Whether they ne negotiating or not, you ain't said a motherfucking thing. Nothing. Navarrete. Navarrete. Same thing, boy, you were so public with that shit. Now people that's like kind of on Shakur's side like oh he might have a gag or the KO PBC might not be letting them talk about nothing man all I know is Canelo team when they in negotiating with PBC they be talking Ryan Garcia when he was in negotiation with PBC him and Oscar De La Hoya fucking talking some ain't go right they talking now all of a sudden Shakur ain't saying shit So it's only one or two things, bro, because we use process elimination in our motherfucking brain over here. Either he ain't saying shit because shit getting real, and he, and, he, and he focused in, and he know the task at hand, and he know Tank ain't them, one of them motherfuckers you going to just be talking shit to because now it's time for you to stand on everything you said, which is what I hope it is. Or Tank and them reached out to this nigga, and his car got pulled. And now he ain't got shit to say. The only other thing, which is highly unlikely in my opinion, is these motherfuckers ducking each other. And Tank ain't reached out to him. And Tank ain't saying shit. And Shakur is happy he ain't reached out to him because he don't really want shit. And he just ain't saying shit. He be encrypting the motherfucker because he don't want the nigga to say nothing. He, ha he happy to go along and fight somebody else right now. Them your only three options at this point, bro. Them your only three options. Either he done reached, which I hope it is, because it means we get in the fight. Either they, they they negotiating behind the scenes, shit done got real, and Shakur is like, oh, fuck, my car got pulled, and I'm about to have to stand on everything I said, so let me shut the fuck up on social media and lock in. Or my car got pulled, nigga, and I just ducked this nigga after talking all this shit, and I can't really say shit, so I'm going to be crooked than a motherfucker. I ain't going to say a motherfucking thing. Or they ducking each other, and ain't nobody reached out to nobody, and everybody happy about it. So they can go on about their motherfucking business. That's all it can be, bro. But either way, if you don't see that these motherfuckers, bro, every time shit get really fucking real, bro, niggas' whole attitudes change towards Tank Davis. I can't be the only one to see this shit. I focused the majority of this video on Shakur Stevenson because that's the one that's up. That's the fight that we want next. But I'll just quickly run them down for you, bro. From 2021 to 2023, you could not get Devin the Dream Haney or Bill Haney to shut the fuck up about Javante Tank Davis. You could not get them to shut the fuck up about Javante Tank Davis ever, bro. 
ever. I'm talking about lying about Ali X, nigga. Lying about uh, Tank Davis being Devin Haney's mandatory, nigga. Lying about $20 million offers. Lying about three fight contracts. Lying about rematch clauses from 2021 to 2023. You cannot get them to shut the fuck up about Javante Tank Davis. Then when they finished their top rank contract and Tank Davis took care of Ryan Garcia, these niggas didn't say shit about Tank Davis for a month and negotiated the quickest deal they ever did. Bill Haney and Devin Haney ain't never negotiated a deal so quickly as the deal they negotiated with Regis Prograde to hurry up and get off that goddamn market. And by the time, got, by the time Tank Davis got out of jail on Friday, this nigga Devin Haney let the world know on Monday he was fighting Regis Prograde, nigga. And get in right the fuck now. Shakur ain't the only nigga quiet. Right the fuck now. Tank Davis is free as a motherfucking bird. Has anybody heard Devin Haney or his daddy say any fucking thing about Javante Tank Davis, bro? When Tank get free, niggas get to acting funny, bro. After all this shit, bro. They don't do the same shit when a nigga free, bro. And he might be looking in their direction. Never do. Vasily Lomachenko, bro. Vasily high-tech Lomachenko. His fans been calling Tank Davis a duck for years. When Top Rank never tried to make the fight with Tank Davis. When Loma was the A-side. When Tank Davis and Floyd Mayweather was guiding Tank Davis' career. Nobody sent no paperwork to nobody. Nobody sent no offer to nobody, but this is supposedly the fight that Loma has wanted for fucking ever, according to his fans. This nigga Lomachenko gets into negotiations as a champion, and with his biggest payday on the line, with an opportunity to unify on the line, an opportunity to be undisputed and, and take a step closer to undisputed on the line, this motherfucker lost all motivation and don't want to fight no more. After, for years, his only, he moved up to 135 to become undisputed. And I just saw something come across my screen while I'm shooting this video this morning. Motherfuckers say, Vasily Lomachenko don't owe Tank Davis a goddamn thing. No, stupid. He owe you or something as a boxing fan. Dummy. He owe you a unification. Or he can drop that motherfucking belt <laughs> and get the fuck out the sport. <laughs> he don't owe Tank Davis anything. No, nigga, he owes boxing. He owes the sport of boxing to unify. When you're a champion, you fight the best possible contender or you unify or you come up off that motherfucking belt. <laughs> the fuck? This shit literally just went across my screen while I'm shooting this video. I swear to God, bro. Swear to God. Look, it's, it's 8 o'clock in the morning right now while I'm shooting this video, bro. Look around and see who who, who doing a video right now about Vasily Lomachenko not owing Tank Davis a goddamn thing, and you'll have your answer on what the fuck I'm talking. Literally, right the fuck now, bro. Motherfuckers act funny when shit start getting real between them and Tank. And we have Shakur, obviously, right now, everything I said previously in this video, bro. The man is acting funny to me. He's acting funny. And if you don't see it, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. I might do a whole live stream on this shit tonight. Come to think about it, bro. I really might. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Comment below, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video. Turn on your notifications. Catch me live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7.30. I'll see y'all soon. Peace.